So here's what's gonna happen, boys. There's three squads left. I'm gonna kill us on top of here. I'm gonna fucking headshot one of them to enter the team fight. They're gonna throw your Bangalore all. It's gonna fucking explode on all their faces like the greatest porno you've ever seen. Wait, scratch that. Rewind. But you don't get you got my point. Got one. That's a headshot. Bangalore all. Go, go. We need to stick to the plan. I got another one. Headshot. Keep it going. Boom, 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 boom. In your face. In your face. with me you're insane you're insane you're insane they're portaling i got one insane headshot ah he's on me boom baby boom boom so gibraltar this is gibraltar ooh la la okay Gibraltar, as a pub character, he's not as fun pubbing to me. It's everybody has their own things. So I guess maybe as far as like a pub star, more so if you kind of want to practice in pubs, he's good for practice, right? He's good to practice like how to dome, how to do everything. But more so in pubs, you're kind of moving very quickly. There's not that many squads alive towards the end of the game. You're not really, really utilizing Gibraltar's kit. You're not really utilizing everything that he can do and should do, right? Like alt placement is not as important uh pub is just like a regular pub game like i just pretty much go like this i play I, I go to trios and i pub right this is pubs public games so when you go unranked gibraltar is as far as ranked goes and as far as uh competitive goes he is a s tier legend in ranked and in competitive in competitive more so even more mainly because of his abilities so kind of going through you know his his, uh, his abilities and stuff so the gun shield, y'all know how I feel about it. The gun shield is, is 50 damage when you are ADSing. So when you ADS, a big shield pops up in front of you. That shield is, is broken. My shield is broken. I'll be honest. It's stronger than John Cena in his prime. Like, what do you want from me? I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know how to describe it for you. That gun shield can tank a shot from Godzilla himself. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Is there a reason to toggle gun shield off? The only reason you would toggle gun shield off, so with this gun shield, you can toggle it off. The only way you're going to toggle it off, right? The only reason you would ever toggle it off is if you need to rat out and you want to right click to ADS in because a lot of the times you'll ADS in because it gives you a zoom in feature so you can kind of like see a little bit easier. And, and that's kind of what it's used for in all reality is like turning off the gun shield. But for the most part, never turn it off. The gun shield absorbs 50 incoming damage. There is no bleed over damage, which means that if you take a Kraber shot to the face, not to the actual face, but like to the, where the gun shield is, you absorb all that damage. Meaning if, it, if you get shot for 145 damage Kraber shot, you take absolutely zero damage if it hits the shield. If a shot happens and it doesn't break the shield, meaning let's say I masked a few and I do 37 or 45 or whatever, right? And that gun shield is there, I don't break the shield. So I shoot you again, even if you do 49 damage and there's one point of damage left on the gun shield itself, it will absorb an entire 145 damage with zero bleed through. If you want to pick up a G7 Scout for poking as a primary, G7 Scout, Massive, seem to be the best guns on this character. Later on, you can rock a Volt, kind of something more aggressive. But for the most part, you're going mid-range, and then you're if you're not mid-range, you're literally in their face with a Mastiff. A Mastiff is the absolute number one gun on Gibby. The reason why is, again, the shield pops up when you have ADS. So when you ADS, the gun shield pops up. You are going to hold ADS until that gun shield breaks. If that gun shield does not break, you do not break ADS. You hold that for as long as possible. It doesn't matter if you're moving slow that will block all the incoming damage. So that's what, again, this is all goes with the gun shield. Holding my right click, gun shield pops up. Until I take damage, if I'm ADSing, I'm just kind of ADSing. If my shield does not break, I don't, I don't move. So the gun shield. Break out. The gun shield in professional play, a lot of the times, if you get naded and you are absolutely without cover, anything like that, a grenade pops in front of you. If you right click and look downward, 
it blocks incoming nade damage. This is in very, very, very high competitive play. Doing this is really, really hard. It's not easy. It's not as easy as you think. So G7 scout, pop, 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 pop. When you take incoming damage, when you're playing with a squad, as a Gibraltar player, you can take over their armors and level up their armors, depending on what level of gameplay you're actually in, right? So like if you're in Predator tier and you're playing with friends or they have blue and you have purple, trade armors. You'll take their, their blue and you'll level up the blue by poking. Pop, 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 pop. Now let's say you all have purple. You make a red armor, trade. Give the red armor to somebody else and then you take the, the, the purple. There's two reasons why. One, you're going to level up the armor because you're Gibraltar, right? You have a scout, whatever it may be. Two, you take less damage. That purple armor is already like a red armor anyway. The tankier characters, Caustic Gibraltar, especially Gibraltar, is supposed to have the weaker armor out of the group. As we get higher in the tiers, and as you get you know higher up in understanding the gameplay, especially in team play, you're going to like, give your armor to somebody else. When you're poking with Gibraltar, which makes Gibraltar so effective and makes him the best poker in the game, is when you pop up and you start shooting somebody, if you crouch, the gun shield absorbs almost your entire body okay so when you crouch you're basically blocking your legs your body your everything a lot of times you'll open doors you'll shoot the second that you take you let's say you do 50 damage and you get shot and your gun shield breaks you take zero damage and you just dealt 50 the important thing here is to wait for your gun shield to come back up you wait for your gun shield to come back up and then you open the door again and you poke again we've gone over how powerful the gun shield is we've, we've, we've gone over why the gun shield is so important next is bubble fighting all right yeah, so I'm what you want to do with bubble fighting your bubble i will show you more in game your bubble is the ultimate 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 tool for fighting it secludes you in a small area you're creating a zone where you can fight and have a secluded 3v3 and the team that wants to third party you and fourth party you physically have to move from their spot in top tier play a lot of people won't risk losing their spot to push your bubble which makes the bubble extremely important. You don't want to throw this, especially in endgame. You don't want to throw... Like, if somebody's down or you're rotating, I've seen so many Gibraltars, like, someone go down and they throw their bubble for no reason. They're not getting shot at. They're not any... Like, nothing's happening. They just throw their fucking bubble. And it's like, why? Why? That is your bubble is the make it or break it item in the end game. It is the most important tool. If you throw your bubble and you're the only Gibraltar, GG's, you just lost the game. There's so much pressure on Gibraltar, but this is this is kind of like what a Gibraltar player is. So let's say this player's on the edge, right? And they're trying to push you. What you can do is you kind of throw your bubble, right? And you'll play the edge of your bubble, right? Play your shield, you'll walk in, shoot. The key to bubble fighting is play off of them. A lot of times you'll see it over and over again as people will, st will will walk inside your bubble. They'll walk inside and all you got to do is shoot, right? You shoot and you wait. They'll walk inside the bubble to shoot you. You just wait for it. So this guy right here, I'll shoot him, right? I'll shoot him. Or let's say he hits me for 100. I wait right here. I wait like this. I'll wait right here. He'll walk in. I'll go boom and I'll back up over my bubble. Boom. I'll back up my bubble, right? He'll walk in and the second I shoot him, I back up. So you're just playing this basic, basically a game of cat and mouse. However, in the heat of the moment, so many players like will will um will actually like go they'll keep walking in your dome they'll keep walking in your dome and all you have to do is stay here right or or if you're on the opposite spectrum where like you shoot them right you'll shoot them and you'll wait you'll go like this you'll wait you like, kind of move back and forth kind of tease them a little bit right and they'll walk out shoot them again right walk out shoot them again right like your bubble fighting is unbelievably so important. Bubble placement, you want to create a very secluded zone when you fight. So when I throw my bubble, I want to create a zone that's really bad for them, really good for me. Prime example is let's say the zone is this platform right here. This right here. This is in. Okay? This, let's say, let's say this part in. What I'll do is think of it as like you want to cut a section of the zone and you want to make it a safe zone, right? So let's say the storm is right here in my back. If I throw a dome uh, right here, so this section is in, but I'm here. The zone's here. But see, they have to walk in. I'm right here. Any bullets are incoming, you're blocking. And everyone else is fighting outside your dome. There's a giant orange thing here. It's very confusing as well. What you're trying to do is you're trying to cut a piece of the circle. You're trying to cut a piece of the door. Prime example is, let's say this is a door. This is a door. This is a doorway, right? Over here, this is like a corner. What you're going to do is with your bubble, is you're going to want to cut a piece of the door off. So that way, you have safety peeking in their doorway. Like if I did this, it's right here, right? Cut a piece of the door, right? This is their door. I get to walk inside. Boom. I walk back, right? I can still see them. I'm inside of their building right now. I'm inside. Their, they're hiding right here. They're, they're staring at me. I just peek out. Boom. 
they can't do anything. I walk back in my bubble when I'm in trouble, when I take some damage, when I do some damage, whatever it is, I'll back up and I'll tell my team, push in. I did this much damage. I hurt them. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da -da -ba. That bubble allows you to completely control how much damage you're doing in, a, in, the, in the safety of a bubble and you're preventing any third parties from happening. That's why the bubble, again, is so important. Lastly, is the ultimate. So many Gibraltars throw the ultimate like it's nothing. I can't explain to you how important Gibraltar ultimate is. To counter a Gibraltar, force the Gibraltar to waste his bubble. Wasting a Gibraltar's bubble is an absolute fire way to win a fight. Let's say I'm shooting a Gibraltar, right? Boom, 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 boom. They bubble. I still have my bubble. Let's say they're in an open field. It's end zone. It's close. They don't have a Watson. They don't have a Ryzen. Even if they have a Ryzen, throw your all on them. What can they do? Nothing. They eat that fucking all, especially in ranked. People eat that shit up. They're dead. They're done. It's over. There's nothing they can do. They absorb, they, like the team's going to absorb all that damage and there's nothing you can do. So that's what Gibraltar is. And when I get into these games, I'm going to explain how this works, right? I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to use my bubble, why I'm going to use my bubble. I'm going to, you're going to see me try to pick people off certain ways, all that good stuff. So real quick, I'm going to grab this. Even though I'm almost at a percentage, using system accelerants early on with Gibraltar is huge. Mainly because if I did get pushed by a team right now, I'd be absolutely 100% prepared. If I was fighting another Gibraltar and I make them use their dome, they most likely wouldn't have it. System accelerants as you're playing Gibraltar is, is, is a big key. Now we're doing the legend, guys. We got Bloodhound done so far. Next is Gibby. So again, with Gibraltar, what I'm able to do is I'm able to open this door, right? So kind of like what I mentioned before, I can open doors for free and just take damage if I want to. If I crouch, it covers my entire body. Behind, behind, behind. Literally, on the floor. Right behind So I was able to crack him, take this amount of damage. We gotta oh get my god, he's 1 HP. The Mirage. Now we're chilling, we're chilling. I don't know, I just wanna get thirded from the team behind us. They're getting thirded right now. The guy's dead right here. They might they may come to us. They may come to us. So we're right now up. we're just waiting. We're just waiting. We're just chilling. Alright, come over here. Port. Oh no, they just ended. Just ended. Wait, 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 wait. You can port. Just port for it. Port for it. Port for it. Some good news. Setting a portal. That's still looking. You're so annoying. Who are you? Can I take port? Take it back if you can. I took it back though. I took it back. Come, come over here. I got you. So what I want to do is I wanted to hold an arc star to make sure I hold the portal. See if anybody's going to come in. Uh, I asked him if I take the portal. If he communicated okay, to take the portal, I could have took the portal. We could have domed. We could have actually had a bubble fight. Doing that could also be risky. So now they have all that loot above us. They're going to be stronger than us. So we have to be very, very careful on this. A play that we could absolutely make if we wanted to. We could take the rift. We can slide down, take the rift, take the portal. We'll end up on over here. We'll probably have a nice 1v1. It's not a massive. No, it's a flat line. We'll end up over here. When we end up over here, all we have to do is push here, take the zip line here, and we end up exactly where we want to be in the first place. That's most likely. Two of them have I think I think over I think we can push. That's the Clark's guy. He's still fighting over here. I'm pushing up. It is him. I'm gonna start. I almost cracked him. Yep. I'm cracked. I'm cracked. Make it to the house. Make it to the house. We're going to make it to the house where it's nice and safe. I'm taking them with my... No, it's the ult. Great. <laughs> so I have my uh, my jumper ultra dome. Watch it. Watch it. Look at me. Look at me. I think I'm going to be in there. Oh, nobody's there. Push it a little bit. Got one. Okay. Going back to you. Enemy up. How are you doing? Are you good? Reloading. Recharging my shield. Marking our surroundings. So I took uh, enough damage, right? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna wait for my shield to come back up on cooldown. I don't want to be too aggressive and take too much damage. If I got that knock, what's the point, right? I can't finish it. It doesn't matter. Drop your stack here. Wrong, simple. 
All right, so I'm going to his shield, right? But there's no point. There's no point to, to, to try to, like, stop that shit. Swap with the Wraith. Um, so as of right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to get red. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to swap yet because I can still, I can still get stuff for him. Remember I told you that circle's gonna... Um, honestly, we could. Yeah, 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 let's go. Oh my god, it kicked me off and I grabbed it back. Holy shit. Get ready to shoot in front of us. Right now. 19, He's 1 HP. Right. Good stuff, good stuff. We're gonna move up a little bit. Alright, so now that I have a Mastiff, really, really good. Uh, Phoenix kit, more batteries. How many batteries do I have? Two, four, 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 four. Right, I'm gonna use my system accelerant to make me have an ult, I free up my space. So again, playing Gibraltar, you could be really aggressive if you want to. So you see how he scanned me? I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna right click, he's gonna peek, and I have a shield. I'll basically be able to do damage for free. He won't be able to do damage. He's not supposed to. I don't want to talk about it. I'm backing up. Missed every single bullet. I don't want to talk about it. Simple. They're trying to take our spot, maybe? They're going way wide. 40 on Wraith, 30 on Gibby. I have no idea. Don't take too much damage. Got, got your bolter. Nice. I'm batting. I'm batting. I'm batting. I can fight this. I can bat. I'm phoenixing. I'm phoenixing. Okay. They're going to revive him, most likely. If you want to throw nades, you can in that corner. I have no nades. No nades. No nades. Yeah, they got him up. They got him up. They got him up. Oh, you died. You fell. What? Hunt's one. Hunt's one. Hunt's one. I can't even get out of this. I'm a few. So I know that bubble's gonna disappear. Three, two, one. Oh, I cracked two of them. I'm pushing up. I'm doming forward. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. So I dome that forward. You see that? Gonna use my dome. I'm missing all my dome shots. My shield is back up. Boom. Nice shot. So using the Gibraltar gun battle, you see how I was able to regen my shield, wait for my shield to come back up, hold right ADS, he hit me, I should have died, but I didn't. We're gonna go over here. Oh my god, there's a rat behind me, dude. Okay. I'm gonna give you a dome if you come towards me. Using the Gibraltar gun shield is the most broken thing in the game. I should have died there, but it, as you saw, the gun shield broke. I held, I held my ADS, I made sure I was holding my ADS. Could have sworn there was a rat behind us, maybe not. Come to me. Sticking this real quick, one second. What I want you to understand is, is when you're playing Gibraltar, what's gonna happen? Damn. Somebody's uh, gonna crumble, push our door. No, uh, no, I don't. Somebody's gonna push no, here. Crumble, right? did you have it on your they're gonna push here, and when they push here, they're gonna try to throw nades. What we're going to do is, I'm actually gonna throw my bubble forward. And the reason why I'm gonna throw my bubble forward is, if they throw, if they know, they throw nades or anything like that, they're gonna throw it, and it's actually gonna create a pocket. You understand? It's gonna create a pocket in front of me where we're safe right here. And if they do throw nades and it happens to land here, I can go inside the dome. And so that way I don't get hit by the nades. The only way I get hit by nades at this point is if they throw so many nades that they get behind here or they get in here. And I throw my dome late. We just want to control like this and behind us. Flush. Yep, 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 yep. One to portal. They do they're dome resing. Okay, so he's not gonna have dome 35 seconds. Let me see, he's pinging this. I'm gonna throw my ult there. So you know, okay. I'm gonna port, I'm gonna port here. So that dome is gonna disappear. And now I'm gonna hit him with my ult. It's gonna fuck them with the ult. They're gonna have to portal down. They just portaled, they queued. They're portaling down. That's one. Give me, give me one. Hurt. Yeah, yeah, I cracked, I downed one, I downed one. He's one, they took portal. Come to me, come to me. Gibby's one! Knock one, push this! Right push this! Popping a med kit, watch out for me! 
Right here somewhere. Pop my my Let's go. GG's baby. Good, Good job. GG. So remember what I told you? When but a Gibraltar just, uh, throws his dome and the dome is not there, you throw your ultimate and you f them. You basically force what is them. A pleasure, boys? Yo, absolute pleasure, dude. GG's. So here's here's what I said before. In in my beginning guide, I said when a Gibraltar domes, I'm going to use my ultimate ability to force them to make a different play, right? They're up there. They're looting. I threw my ult. I don't even know if they heard it, right? When the ult comes down, it starts fucking them. It forces them to make a play that they don't necessarily, that they aren't necessarily prepared for, right? The zone's on their back. They need to make the push. So then they drop down. I was able to get one knock. When somebody took the portal, he said Gibraltar low. I shoot the Gibraltar. When he made that call and I saw that they portal down below, I have my bubble. I threw it on the door. Did you see? So I basically cut a section of the door off in the building to where I can enter the building and walk out of the building and I still would be safe. So that was that's technically the point of Gibraltar. When I entered the building, I remember him saying the Gibraltar is low. I ran out of ammo, which is what makes my ADSing shield that like low, which was bad because that could have actually got me killed. It actually almost let drop win because of that scenario. So what happens is, is I was able to kill the Wraith because the Wraith was, was easy kill because at that point I have a gun shield. He doesn't. I'm not supposed to lose that Wraith 10 out of 10 times. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm absolutely supposed to win that. The Gibraltar is hard because he has a gun shield and he has a, 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 a Mastiff. And like at that point, there's nothing I can do. There's just nothing I can do. So uh, I, I relied on my teammate, which it worked out. Next was just kind of um, letting my teammate know that I'm low, heal, all that other good stuff. Uh, but knowing that working off my cooldowns, in the fight previous, how he was saying Wraith is low, I was basically stalling. There's one team here. We're very, very, very first. Well, actually, they're swerving off. They swerved off. So, again, I'll kind of explain. Um, I like running the Hemlock because it allows me to kind of keep... Um, it used to be Scout for, for Gibraltar, but... Got white armor. So I'm gonna posture up a little bit. Because I know he's behind that rock. They're gonna have to portal him out. 38, white. The Wraith is gonna come portal. Knock. Got portaled. I'm not gonna waste my dome, right? I'm not gonna waste my dome. Why? My teammate can get out of this. We're gonna walk up. Posturing my right side. We're gonna get third. We're gonna get thirded. Make sure we get that kill. Reloading. All right, we're going to slide down. Try to get inside here. I do not like rotating the way we rotated. I should have. So what I'm going to do as I'm sliding down with Gibraltar, I can ADS in. You see how I ADS in? And I'm going to I'm gonna bunny hop myself in because my gun shield is out. So team up there, what we need to do is it's going to be like somewhere over here. Maybe it states. I'm stuck. Throw me a Q. Q, 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 Q. Oh, I'm gonna actually loot this real quick. Alright, never mind. Oh, you're fing kidding me. I actually fell. I moved too good. I moved too good. Uh, this portal out in the open should be right here, right? You want to put it you want to put it somewhere where in case it hits the fan, you want to be able to leave and move out of it. If we're fighting That was not a good ult. Okay, they're really low. Push here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw my dome on the door. You see that? See what it is? on my master shots to be honest i don't like the hollow i think i should pop that a shove 
So I missed my dome by a little bit, if I'm being completely honest with you, right? You gotta be honest with yourself. Missed my dome a little bit, but was still able to um, play really well there. So what we can do if we want to, we just we just take over here for now. A lot of third parting. We can we can third party a lot. I'm gonna wait till the zone comes in before I do anything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We just stay right here, boys. I think the zone ends up here, but we're good. We're good with being in this building right here. So at this point, we don't need to be aggressive, right? I'm gonna throw my all. It's basically gonna put pressure on them, change their direction so they don't just push directly into us, right? So it's gonna force them to either bubble or something. Bottom right. Uh, Gibraltar, crack. They're gonna push me. Stuck him. Gonna punch him into the zone. Dome in 20. Watch me. Don't let them push me. I'm dropping you my uh, my body armor. I shop. We got portal down, I think. We're good to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick back up my armor. I'm gonna pop a phoenix. Give me one second, bud. We're good inside. So we stopped the push, right? So they're out in the open. You see, I was able to do so much damage. Now watch. I'm gonna just, I'm just chilling. I don't need to do anything, right? I don't peek. Four, three, two, one. Shield is up. So now I can peek again for absolutely free. I can jump over this wall. I can peek. They can't do damage to me. Hold on, boys. If I wanted to, I can absolutely pick up that triple take and do a lot of damage. The zone is going to end over. There's a package right here. If you have portal, you can probably go for it. Every squad is full. What we need to pay attention to is we need to pay attention to what's going on. So, a key, couple key things we learned about Gibraltar. Gibraltar gun shield is extremely strong. I can take poke damage. That's a win. That tree really stop my bullets. So, he's got... So, you see his dome just pop. Cheating because he's nuts. So, to think about it right now, uh, I can definitely. Somebody needs to take that Kraber. Uh, I will. I will. I will. I will. Uh oh, I just got banned. You got banned? I'm like, bro, you're popping off. You're nuts. Yeah, you just got banned. One fifty two to the wraith. She's got ten HP, so I'm not gonna waste my ultimate. Right? You can kill that wraith. She's got ten HP. Okay. See how you see how they're domed? See how they just domed? Pay attention to how they just domed. Right? Count it down in your head. Can you back up? Okay, nice job. Got him. Coming forward. So what I'm gonna do here? 
Push the Gibraltar. I'm gonna armor stop off the Gibraltar. Nice job. GG's boys. Nice job again. Well done. Using the dome, I then I held my right my right gun shield. When you hold the gun shield, even though I didn't have my massive, even though I didn't have anything, I held my ADS. You have to hold your ADS in that scenario because it gives you 50 HP. I gotta I have to go back to this part. I have to go back to this part because I can't stress enough. As a Gibraltar player, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain something. We got our kills, right? Move forward. Hitting this headshot, key, right? Knocked his Gibraltar player. It's now a 3v2. We can absolutely still lose it. If we look where the zone is, we have to move in. If we go here, we don't have much cover, right? I have dome, so that's really, really good, but I don't have a Mastiff. So if I get a little too close and I have a Mastiff shot, I'm kind of fucked, right? So what happens here is I end up throwing my dome forward. Basically, when I throw my dome, I'm setting a fighting spot. I'm saying, this is where I want to fight right this is where i'm going to hold my ground and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna stand right because realistically the other team could have just repositioned right they didn't have to push me but what happens is is i take enough damage to where it almost invites the it invites the fight however i pop a bat right away i pipe a bat right away but i bunny hop heal now key thing i don't go inside my bubble i'm predicting in my brain i'm predicting that this player is going to push the bubble so what you do is you're creating a zone where you're safe. So you see right here, this is my zone. Watch, I don't go in, right? I see him right there. He slides in. I then position myself to go inside the bubble, right? Right here. I know he's going to play. So watch my shields. Ready? He hits me. Boom. That would have been flesh. I pop my battery just in time. Immediately, I, I take another damage. Now look at what I do, right? I take another massive shot. I immediately go to ADSing, okay? When I ADS, watch this. Boom. You see my shield break. He broke the gun shield. I move to the rock. The reason why I don't try to full kill, because I always talk about armor swapping. So the reason why I didn't full kill the uh, Bloodhound is because my team is, is fighting, right? I hear gunshots behind me. I know there's a Gibraltar that I knocked over by this rock. I want to go for the easiest armor swap that I can go for. If I spent time, I know my bubble was going to go away. So if I tried to bubble fight, or if I try to kill the Bloodhound and try to go for an armor swap on the Bloodhound, I'm out in the open. So if I'm out in the open, it get, let's say that player, the Wraith player, ends up winning that 1v1. He shoots me, I'm low. Now there's a 1v1, right? Instead of it being a clean 2v1, right? So if you notice right here, I walk over to the rock. Boom. I didn't realize we won. And we ended up winning the game. So we were able to do that, but that's basically why I went behind the rock instead.